If you've been watching me for a long time, you already know who the greatest hater of all time is. And as a hating ass nigga, I'm telling you to go back to the drawing board because that shit stinks. But what if I told you there was someone leagues above him? Crazy Rich Asians is a movie that follows Rachel Chu, a professor at a New York university as she travels with her boyfriend, Nick Young, to Singapore to attend his best friend's wedding. However, as she interacts with some of his family, she realizes not everyone has her best interest in mind. Hmm, mystery. I mean, yeah, this is, I guess, a new series, kind of. So, uh, yeah, um, get some popcorn. Let's get this shit started. Woo! <laughs> All right, so I know I said this whole family was hating, but I'm really gonna focus on two people, and that's this girl right here and Nick's mom, Eleanor. So the movie starts off with Rachel and Nick heading over to Singapore to meet with his family, and they meet up with some friends and then go to the family party with all the family and friends the next day, right? And the whole time, Rachel is getting all type of weird looks, but no worries, right? As long as the mom rocks with her, right? You know, she's a teacher at a university, and it's about to be so easy, you know what I'm talking about? Off ripped his mom walked in with the face and you might be asking what is the face exactly well it's a certain type of face people give you when they really do not fuck with you now it's two different variations of the face it's the male version and the female version the male version is pretty simple they'll just give you a slight up nod and reach to dap you up but they will look away the entire time the female version is much different and if you don't pay attention to the little signs you're never gonna peep game how do I know this? Well, let's say for years I interacted with several women who low-key hated my guts. Anyway, it's not the point. For the female face, it's important to not pay attention to any other body part on the face except for the eyes. Because look at the difference between when Nick's mom looks at him versus when she looks at Rachel. Y'all see it, right? Now, another thing that comes with the look is the occasional shakedown. Every now and then, they're going to look up and down and, you know, size you up. And lastly, the tone is always super relaxed. The tone is never excited, but it's never negative enough to where you can think something's wrong, you know what I'm saying? Now, as we continue to analyze this conversation, I want y'all to watch as she does all three with flawless execution, bruh. So, boom, they see each other, right? Rachel goes in for the hug. Now, I ain't gonna lie, the hug was kind of crazy, but you see the face, right? Every time she's not looking, she lets the hate show. And I forgot to mention, another key sign to know if somebody you're talking to does not rock with you is they don't really hold eye contact with you or give you their undivided attention. Now, granted, she did have to oversee the cooking, but but that just makes this a perfect way to disguise her disdain for this girl, right? Then she got to talking to Rachel about her occupation and her mom. And Rachel was going on and on about her passion and whatnot. But then his mom hits one of the haters archetype signature move. The backhanded compliment. She said, Suing one's passion. How American. Y'all see this, right? Like, come on. She hasn't even had three minutes of screen time, and I can already tell this is an elite level hater. Nah, but check this out. This is the best part. They walk off, right? And he's comforting her, but look at her in the background. She's just standing there preying on her downfall. I saw this movie in theaters, and I didn't notice these things then because it was like five years ago. I was still like a kid, but as my hating skills have improved and I've gotten older, I see what she's doing. I, I definitely owe her an apology because I overlooked this performance. I wasn't familiar with her game at all. Alright, so check this out too. This is another extremely effective hating tactic. You know, I've used it myself quite a few times, but look how she executes this. So they have a small talk about Nick's grandma as well as him coming back home, but he casually brings up the fact that he likes being in New York with Rachel, you know what I'm saying? And that's when she knew it was time. See, the key to this play style, bruh, is to never initiate the conversation around the person you want to hate on. You always got to wait for the play to develop, you know what I'm saying? You got to let the game come to you. And Nick was even more proud to bring her because not only was she a professor at like New York University or some other school in New York, but she was also Chinese. But then the mom said, hey, hey slow your roll, man. She's Chinese American. She's not the full thing. You know what I'm saying? She, she had to let him know that they were not on the same level. And then she was like, you know, bringing her all the way here in front of this family, you know, the streets not really rocking with it. Whole time, the streets were in fact rocking with it. She was just trying to discreetly say she wasn't really fucking with her. I respect it though, because I definitely got this move in my bag too. Hey, but check this out. When she went to meet his grandma, everything was going nice, right? Grandma approves and everything. But where is his mom? She was just over here. You see what I'm saying? She abandoned accompanying her mother-in-law just so she could hate peacefully and she got her homegirl right next to her so you know she was hating now i know there's somebody watching this like bro you're dragging it but i promise i 
promise you this is just scratching the surface but this one girl right here gave her a run for her money so they're at this bachelorette party it's like the next day or something right and rachel is just kind of vibe checking the place and while she's all unsuspecting this girl right here just concocted a plan to successfully orchestrate her demise and the time it took to sip that wine. Now this right here is definitely the most vile hating tactic. Personally, I can't do it because it's just like a level of self-respect that I have and respect for other people, you know what I'm saying? She used the buddy-buddy method. And honestly, I think you can kind of picture what that method looks like by the name itself. But anyway, so in the movie, she spends like the next 10, 15 minutes being cool with Rachel, right? Shopping, sipping wine, on the beach, at the spa, getting massage, and out of nowhere she goes, oh yeah, you know Nick used to take me to pound town, what do you mean? She was like, yeah, our families kind of always knew each other and we were cool, he didn't tell you? Bro, this, this is wild because like Rachel should have seen this coming from a mile away because when they first met and she told her her name, the girl was like, oh, you're Nick Young's friend. Now, I don't know how long they had been together because I don't remember if the movie specifies this, but at the same time, bruh, like, if you're dating someone and another person mentions you as that person's friend, they do not take that relationship serious at all. So afterwards, Rachel storms off, right? And then she goes to her room and then she walks into this fucking fish sitting on her bed along with this neatly written hate message. I definitely got to give credit where it's due because do you know how much time and energy and effort had to go into this shit? They had to A fish and i don't know if y'all know about fishing but that shit takes time and sometimes you don't catch anything but they caught the bikini bottom news fish then they had to be take the fish and slit it open and then c put it on her bed and d spell out catch this you, the whole message on the wall i'm gonna take a guess because the movie only shows that they were there for like 10 minutes but i'm gonna guess that they were there for at least like an hour and a half you can't do all that in an hour and a half you can't you just you just can't this is not something one person could do with this time frame. This was a multi-person hit job. Anyway, back to Nick's mom. So now they're like at a family gathering or something and they're all making dumplings and Nick's mom is just dogging Rachel for existing, literally, it's just existing. But eventually Rachel decides to go to the bathroom, but you know, the house is, is so big, right? So naturally you ask the person who owns the house, where is the bathroom? And do you know how she responded to that question? You will never be enough. This is textbook right here, man. Start off friendly, you gotta soften her up, and then boom, hit her with the haymaker. And to top it all off, she got up in her personal space, forcing her to physically back down, then flexed the ice, and then said, I know what it takes to be her, and you are not her. And you know, you always gotta finish the job, man. She did all of that and didn't even tell her where the bathroom was. So now she's traumatized and still has a full bladder. That's hateful. But again, her bag is way deeper than this check this out so the wedding finally happens you know it's nice it's emotional and now we're at the reception and she's chilling with nick and they get summoned to talk with his grandma and they get there and she's talking about that nick is forbidden to be with her because she's a gold digger and they're like what like and when i was watching this for the first time i was also like what because was this not the same old lady who was just pinching her cheek the literal 12 hours before or something like that did she catch dementia or something overnight but then the hater of the decade reveals that rachel mom lied about her father being dead and that she cheated on him making Rachel a fraud for some reason how did she find this out she hired a private investigator to look into her entire family's history like like this is some shit Rachel didn't even know right they don't even live on the same continent bro how did she do that shit and when you really think about it she probably had it cooking up for some time and you know what now that I think about it, bruh, she gave her that evil ass look in the kitchen when they were walking off. She probably launched that shit the second they walked off. She said, ooh, I got something for her ass as soon as she walked away. I'm telling y'all. And, and what makes this better is that Rachel has no clue what the fuck is going on. So to the person not in this situation, it, it just looks like she's trying to deny it. So even if she wanted to, she can't beat the Kanye West featuring Jamie Foxx allegations. And to top it all off, she like eventually played Rachel in like a game of Mahjong or something. I don't know how Mahjong works, but I, I guess Rachel like 
cooked her shit? I don't know. So so that resulted in, in, in Nick's mom, like, allowing them to be together or something because he was, like, threatening to leave, too. And when they got engaged and they saw her at the party, she didn't even give a hug, didn't even go near her and say, like, all right, you good. She just looked at her and then just gave you, uh, you all right, I guess, look. Like, that's crazy. But uh, what do y'all think, man? Is this W hating or not? Nah? Let me know in the comments, man. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.